Hello everyone, welcome to Impulse. This is a game made by Deck16. Now before I get to what sort of a game it actually is, I first want to mention that I've played it for a couple hours, and it's very lengthy, it's also very good, and it's also completely free, which is incredibly impressive. So as always, I'll have a link in the description to where you can check it out for yourself. Now to show you how the game works, I'm going to show you a variety of different levels to give you a kind of good overview of what sort of situations you're presented with. And before I get to even that, I also want to mention that it's got a really great soundtrack. But unfortunately, I've gone ahead and disabled it because the soundtrack is actually composed of a bunch of different submissions from a bunch of different people that have contributed music to the game. So I have no idea what the copyright situation is with the music, so just to protect myself, I've gone ahead and disabled it. So, sorry about that, but it does have a very good soundtrack. Okay, first level I want to show you is level 16. Let's go ahead and play. Alright, so you're first presented with a bunch of text. Don't worry about that for now. I'm just going to get into it. Alright, so let's look at what's going on. So you play as this little dot, this spacecraft, spaceship, ship, person, whatever it is, it doesn't really matter. And the only control you have is where you want to boost. So if you aim somewhere with your mouse and click, you'll boost in that direction. So let me restart here. Yeah, so if I want to boost this way, I just aim here and click. So whichever way I want to boost, there you go. Choose a direction and then boost. And the basic idea is just to get to the end. Whatever the end might be. In this case, I need to get here. And what's really interesting about this game is all the different situations it puts you in. And the different ways it requires you to think. It's not just like everything linearly just gets harder, you know, like you have shorter time limits and stuff like that. No, it puts you in completely different situations where you have to consider completely different things. So let's look at what's going on here with this mission. Okay, so I have fuel up here. And as you can see, I burn through it pretty quickly. So I can't really boost for too long. There is no time limit. And if you notice, the speed up here goes orange when it gets above 0.5. Now when it goes orange, that means you're going too fast. And if you hit something at that speed, you're going to explode. So for example, if we nosedive into the ground, boom. So the goal is to get over there, let's do that, and have enough fuel to slow down so that we can actually survive the impact. Alright, let's see if I have enough here. Boost up. Oh, I didn't quite have enough. Try that again. So it's all about fuel conservation and also the timing of when you choose to boost up. Ah, I was too slow again. One more try. I'm not being very good with fuel conservation here. Oh, 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 I think. Yep, there we go. Level complete. Alright, let's back out of this one. Okay, so let's show you a different level. Let's go for level 18. And now that we've shown one mission, let me describe what's going on here. So this screen is, of course, well, the level name and all that. But all of these details here, like time limit, thrust, hole crash, speed rating, that's basically telling you all of the parameters of your mission. I don't find them very helpful to look at, to be honest. I'd rather actually get into the mission and just feel what the missions feel like. But this is one of the things that makes this game so interesting, is that there's a lot of different parameters that go into your missions that change all the time. And if you want to figure out exactly what's going on, you can look at this, but I prefer to just go in-game and see what's going on. So look up here, there's no fuel limit. There's also no time limit. Let's get a couple other characteristics down. Okay, it looks like there's a lot of drag. If you notice, I... My speed stops very quickly after boosting. And of course, you can probably guess from this flashy stuff, if you hit it, you die. Alright, so the reason there's so much drag is so that you don't accidentally drift into the wall. So the mission here is not to beat the clock, it's not to be efficient with your fuel, it's simply to avoid touching any, any of the sides. Which, as you can see up here, is not much of a problem until you get down here. Down here, it's a little bit tricky. So that's quite a bit different from the last mission. Let's show you a different one. Let's go for 19. Alright, this one's called Fuel Efficient. And indeed, fuel efficiency is very important. Okay, so no time limit. 
I need to hit this green thing. I've got 20 fuel. Alright, so let's see the characteristics. Okay, so my boost is not very fast. As you can see. Uh, looks like there's a moderate amount of... Is that gravity or just drag? I think it's just drag. Yeah, I'm not falling. I'm just losing my speed. So why is this mission called Fuel Efficient? Well, you're about to see why. I'm gonna run out of fuel. So that's the interesting thing about this mission. If you just boost towards your goal, you're not gonna make it. So the question becomes, what's going on? Well, look at my speed. See how it hits 0.5, and then it just stops even though I'm still boosting? I think in the starting screen it's called terminal velocity, but basically I've reached my max speed. Which means any further boosting is actually wasted. So this mission is all about being fuel efficient, which means you need to pulse. You need to pulse your bursts. So I get it up to like 40. Then keep pulsing it, like that. And that will actually get you there. Just barely. But you can make it. Okay, different kind of mission. Let's go for 27. Balaklava 1854. No idea what that name means. Okay, what's going on here? So a bunch of different environmental hazards. We have these pink things that of course destroy you if you touch them. These things are mines. And as you can probably guess, the laser beam will exploderize you. Pew! So this mission is simply about avoiding the laser beam. And of course all the other environmental stuff too. So it's all about timing, it's all about agility. So time is not a problem, fuel efficiency is not a problem, there's a moderate amount of drag as you can see I stop pretty quickly, but not super fast. And of course, my acceleration is very fast, because you need to. You need to have fast acceleration to be able to get past this beam. Okay, let's show level 28. No brakes. Indeed, that is a very appropriate name. Now, I want to point your eyes to something in particular on this list of parameters, and that's the bounce elasticity. About midway down there, it says bounce elasticity 90%. That's very important. So unlike most missions, this one has very bouncy surfaces. So let's begin. All right, so what do we have? We have a limited amount of fuel, we have a very short time limit, a time limit of 10 seconds. Need to get here, and of course we can't touch the pink stuff. So this one is all about taking advantage of the very elastic walls. So I'm basically a pinball, I can just bounce off this thing. So it's all about boosting early and getting the right trajectory. So that, that happens. Alright, let's show one more level. This is actually one of my favorite. Let's go for 37. Alpha Echo 3-5. Okay, so what's going on here? Okay, I've got a time limit. It's quite long. I've got quite a bit of fuel. I need to get here. And it looks like I'm rescuing somebody or something. Kind of looks like a person there. I'm not quite sure. So let's get out of here. Okay, so the reason this is such an interesting mission to me, and one of my favorite, is because it's actually no gravity. As you can see, whichever direction you happen to be going in, you will continue to go in. And it only requires a very low speed for you to crash into something. So even at this extremely slow speed of about 0.14, I'm still going to explode when I touch this. Boom. And despite my fairly large amount of fuel, the boost I get from... Uh, the amount of speed I get from boosting is actually not very much. It requires quite a bit of fuel to go, to go anywhere. So this mission is all about drifting. So if you want to make it all the way over there, what you have to do is be very fuel efficient. You basically have to boost just enough to get you up to a decent speed, and then just don't boost. Just leave it. And then you have to drift, because... You have a very limited amount of fuel, but you have a very long time limit. In fact, I already maybe boosted too much. So this one is actually all about being patient. Which is interesting, because a lot of the other ones are all about getting through something extremely fast, but this one forces you to be patient. You have to be very careful and very deliberate. 
Here we go. Let's. I'm going up a little bit too much. My speed is good, but I need to go down more. Actually, I think I went down too much. And there we go. We can probably just coast the rest of the way. Of course, I'm going to have to slow myself down here and then go down and then go a little bit to the right. Hopefully, I'll have enough time. But yeah, I think that's a pretty good overview of all the kind of different situations it puts you in. So it's not some linear progression, you know, where you just kind of need more and more, uh, like a better and better reaction time or something like that. It's It really is just all over the place with what you do. All sorts of different things, from caring about fuel efficiency to being quick reaction time uh, speed things to bouncing off walls. It just gives you all these different parameters. You know, sometimes you have no gravity, like this. Ooh, I don't know if I have enough fuel. Alright, I need to slow down. Slow down. I need to go down. Yeah, I'm not going to have enough fuel. Look at this. Nope. <laughs> it's not going to work. Oh no. I'm going to hit the wall and die. Yep. So yeah, you just have all these different parameters. Like, let's just choose a random one that I haven't done before. Uh, 33, sure. What is this one about? Okay, this one has a homing beacon thing. And it only comes after me when it can see me. So... Is it gonna catch me? Uh, no. Okay, I made it. Cool. Oh, this is also one of my other favorite ones, actually. I wasn't gonna show this, but yeah, let's show it. So what's interesting about this one is that it has basically reverse gravity. Basically, you're underwater and you have buoyancy. But you can think of it like reverse gravity. Obviously, if I touch any of these pink things, I'm going to die. Unfortunately, though, it really, really wants to pull me up, which means I have to I have to shoot myself downwards quite a bit just to stay level. So I'm using a ton of fuel. So let's see if I have enough fuel to get into the clam. Ooh. Oh, can I make it? I'm running out of fuel. I'm running out of fuel. I fucked up. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I messed up, and I'm on the, the very, very lip of this thing. But yeah, there's all these different situations. Sometimes you have no gravity. Sometimes you have a lot of gravity. Way too much. Sometimes your ship or whatever it is can break very easily at very low speeds. Sometimes it can never crash, and you can go whatever speed you want and just bounce off of stuff. So it just it gives you a very simple rule set, and that's just that you can aim your ship and boost in whatever direction you want. And that's it. That's all there is to your controls of your ship. But it becomes incredibly... Uh, detailed in what you can do with that when you're put in all these different situations. It's really, really impressive. Let's do one more. 27? Did I do 27? I did do 27. Try this one. The floor is lava. Oh, that's a cool one. Alright, so this one has a lot of gravity, as you can see. I have to boost upwards quite a bit to stay from hitting. To, to keep myself from hitting the bottom. And I don't have much fuel. So I need to get just the right angle so I have enough fuel to get over before I run out. Which it looks like I have done. Cool. Yeah, it's just all these different situations. This one's cool. It's like I'm trying to land on an aircraft carrier. And I don't have much fuel, so I gotta get this just right. So I hit the green thing, and... Oh, I made it. Oh, I already played this one. Yeah, it's just incredibly cool. It's very, very, very cool. This one is all about fuel efficiency. You fall very slowly. You boost very slowly. And you have to boost just right to avoid these pink things. Of course, I started boosting after I started, so I'm kind of screwed here. Yeah, it's just a really, really cool game. It's the sort of thing I just kind of play during breaks or something like that. Like, you know, I want to do something for ten minutes, and I just boot it up and try to beat a level or two. It's just really fun to play, and there's always something new and something different happening. It's a very cool game. I'm really impressed with it. And incredibly surprised that it's free, given how good it is. It's really amazing. By the way, it even comes with a level editor. Which is even extra mind-boggling. So, there you go. That has been Impulse. Once again, it's completely free. I'll have a link in the description to where you can check it out for yourself. Thank you for watching.